SMT Nation, we back. Nation, it looks like there's something happening at Disha Developing Story. Uh, their systems are down, and you, as a customer, aren't really able to do anything. In fact, the employees can't really do anything for you either. Let me tell you guys what I know, give you guys this update, and uh, kind of get you privy to what's happening, at least preliminarily. And as I get more information, I'll make more content for you guys and give you the news as it comes in. Uh, I'll go ahead and link the... Um, this article, it's actually from last year when, when Dish and Boost Mobile had huge cyber attack and ransomware. and Their systems were compromised, uh, just kind of like as a placeholder, because I think something could potentially like that be happening again. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyways, a uh, link for that article will be, be provided down in the description. Ways to support us can be found in the description as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, so uh, officially, Boost Mobile will probably deny anything has happened, but something has compromised their systems. This is day number two of a system outage at Boost Mobile and Dish Wireless. I don't have anything definitive outside of, you know, dealers and authorized resellers and agents telling me that they can't access systems. Uh, more specifically, um, it seems like a lot of the same issues they had you know, from last year's uh, incident, very similar to this one in some respects. Uh, the the folks at the stores, they can't activate phones. Uh, there's no customer care. Uh, you know, they can't call them and reach out to them. Uh, the, the issue itself started Thursday, I think later in the afternoon. But since then, uh, the issue has not been fixed or, or figured out. So... Uh, new, activation, new activations are failing, upgrades, you know, BYOD stuff, anybody trying to port, I mean, you name it, it, it can't be done. So we're seeing official delays in activations, even payments are being unable to, you know, show up on the account side of things, like dealers can accept payments, uh, but it's not showing and reflecting on their account status. Okay, so... You know, I, I didn't want to speculate and say, like, definitely this is the same issue as, as last year. But what we saw last year was very similar to this one in that DISH has already reached out to, to, to the sellers, to the authorized dealers, and told them, you know, nobody's going to be, you know, disactivated or turned off for non-payment. And that would mean that they obviously understand there's a huge issue. So that, that big hack that happened last year, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the, the same situation. That would be crazy and insane for that to happen again but um you know there's probably going to be some serious issues through the rest of this day unless they can figure things out pretty quickly so stores can take payments i guess you can make payments but uh activations are failing people trying to do upgrades not working adding new lines not happening you know a lot of those types of issues and then from the accounting side of things they just can't do anything until it probably figures things out Okay, so I'm going to wait for more information. I'm going to see if I can get an update. I'm, I'm in contact with, you know, folks that are there within the business. I'm trying to figure things out. If you know anything, maybe you can drop a comment, you, you know, anonymously. You know, you don't have to say your name or whatever, but I, I, I just I hope this gets fixed soon. I mean, it's fresh off the heels of the huge issues from last year. Definitely not a good look for sure. Hopefully it gets fixed soon, though. What do you guys think about all this? Comments, welcome down below. You all, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.